full disclaimer up front, I am a university student, so I'm going through like my business arc and business era and all of that on the side. But I think that also goes to show that you don't have to be investing all your time into this. But when it takes off, then you can like pivot over to this or still do university or like your venture career alongside your business side of things. Quick side note also, you'll notice I said when it takes off, not if. And that's important to your mindset. If you walk around saying, no, I don't know if it takes off and if this happens, then it sounds brutal, but there's a very low chance you are going to make it out here. But side note, different matter. But yeah, anyway. So the current business meta is this. Start some sort of online followings. Create an online audience, essentially. So whether you do that on YouTube, as I'm trying to do here, or also like do it on Instagram, Twitter or X or whatever that thing's called now or whatever you choose honestly just create some sort of online audience why you want to do this is eventually you can sell them some sort of product and I'm not going to lie to you my current aim is 100% to like build the audience and simultaneously provide value to you the young man and all of it for free like you'll notice I haven't had any sort of paid products on my channel but when the time is right I'm going to release like some paid products on my channel. I'm still going to keep this like free side of things that will be here for forever. But obviously I do want to get some sort of return from this as well. YouTube ad revenue is nice, but it's not enough. So yes, that's the sort of thing you want to do. And the sort of things you can sell to them is like in self-development will be something like calls or coaching calls, but coaching calls aren't the most time efficient so that's not the best idea but yeah coaching calls um even merchandise does quite well and i think that's a bit of a gap in the space as well so something i'm looking into and if you want to capitalize on my idea so yeah that's fine um and then obviously i know first man does like supplements and all of that which is also something i want to dive into like way later why this can help you is you should be able to driven you will only then be like 10 percent of your income so you can like get 10 times more income from all these other sources. And you don't even have to like charge a lot for it. So I have like a course in the making. I'm only going to release it probably like six months or so. But that course is going to be like, at this point at least, about $20 a month. Maybe even less like at the starting point. So like you can introduce people to the product and all of that, but I'm still planning that. And you can see like someone paying $20 a month on the face of it might sound a bit pricey but at the same time the same people that you're trying to market to they buy like these fancy nike sneakers for like i don't know bro like 50 dollars or i don't know sneaker prices but anyway 50 dollars 60 dollars and I don't know, somewhere on there so like the 20 dollars now becomes very cheap actually and if you are a wise man you would recognize that there's a lot of value coming from that compared to like a pair of Nike sneakers. There's obviously value to both end. But I do believe there's more value coming from some sort of course from me as a YouTuber or even like another YouTuber. You're like learning from the mistakes of another man and just getting a fresh perspective on some things is very useful. So starting some sort of online audience is definitely the current business matter. The side note, but... I'm doing the university thing now because like I've always been academically gifted for like two words, but you can see the glasses and all I'm a nerdier guy. <laughs> it's one of those things. But I also do recognize that I'm not gonna be like the top one percent of earners in the world or anything like that if I just do the academic side. Look at all the richest men in the world. None of them are like really using the university qualification or anything along those lines. So you do need to be wise about it, beyond like the textbook wise. Be like street smart for lack of better words. And then dive into like this online meta and just like diversify your um, income streams. So like if you've done any sort of business in high school or varsity even, you would know that like diversifying your like portfolio, just diversifying your risks as you put it, often does produce better results. So, Dip your hands in the university thing. Don't see a problem with you continuing that if you want to, as I am actually. But then like start this YouTube thing or Instagram thing or whatever thing. 
and then start another thing also like i don't know start cutting here in your community like every sunday you cut five people say for argument's sake you start a car wash thing do whatever like just small things on the side it doesn't have to be these tremendous things even what i do just so we're on the same page i do like freelancing as like a video editor or ironically i don't do just my own videos but video editor or take surveys even because a lot of companies are looking for like market research and all of that and that's like brings in I mean, like South African rand it's about thousand rand a month slightly less like 800 rand a month and that converts to a conversion is a bit off but like 50 dollars a month it's not significant but i do realize i need to start somewhere and so do you this like small foundation phases can bold into something bigger and we're still doing much more than another man who is just like doing nothing he's coming to university studying for like an hour a day then drinking smoking pausing we're going to be further ahead when we are 30 year old, years old compared to him at 30 years old you need to be thinking a bit like an older man rather than like this young boy who's like so like, ooh, trying to have fun and all of that. I'm not saying having fun is a bad thing. But do it in moderation and fair enough, when you're 40 or whatever the case is, when you're a billionaire or even a millionaire, then you'll have the fun, that's fine. But now is the time to be working, actually. Because eventually you're going to start a family, have feminine women by your side, and you want to provide for them. You can't provide for them if you, A, don't have the money, but also B, haven't bought up like this mental attitude of dedication and having grits and all of that then you're not going to be a strong leader so yes bro start like your online business or something similar where you're getting some additional income it's going to help you out a lot in the long run but also like just start this nice momentum starting today but with that said now see you in the next one bro to become a better man